Hello dear viewers and welcome to RTD's English News Edition, the major stories. Djibouti under water after last night's torrential rains. The President of the Republic made an inspection overview in the capital. Thank you for joining us in our newsroom. Abandoned winds with thunderstorms hit last night the whole of the capital. A good part of the city is sinister, including the old neighborhoods are Heba and Gela, including the street seven feet. The streets are filled with water and houses were flooded last night. The Wadi of Umbuli came out and at the fourth hour of the day, the traffic was still interrupted between Djibouti and Bilbala. The civil protection services are working hard to restore traffic in the major axis of the capital. In face with this situation, early this morning, the President of the Republic, Ismail Mergeli, flew over the capital by helicopter to see firsthand the extent of these floods in the most affected areas. Order was immediately given to all emergency and sanitation services to take all necessary measures to unclog the capital rainwater and restore the traffic on the major axis of the capital so that the most affected populations can be rescued. The arrangement made by the President of the Republic was the subject of a crisis meeting gathering all the officials of the Ministry of the Interior in charge of the crisis management held this morning at the Ministry of the Interior. This meeting comes after the heavy rains that have hit the entire country. The discussions focused on the current situation of the city of uh, Djibouti in the regions of the interior and how to deal with the consequences of these torrential rains. This was chaired by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Interior, Mr. Siraj Ahmed Abdul Qadir, the Colonel of Civil Protection, Mr. Mahmoud Musdehey, the Prefect of the City of Djibouti, Mr. Osman Billay, the Executive Secretary of Honor, Mr. Hussein Hassan, and the Director of the Risks and Disasters, as well as those responsible for the entire United Nations system through the UNDP coordinator and Mrs. Barbara Menzi as well as the U.S. and French forces stationed in Djibouti. Stakeholders at this meeting have responded strongly to any type of relief alongside the services concerned in the face of this natural phenomenon, particularly logistically and technically. A first assessment of these floods should be made public and, and we already know that the situation in some areas of the city remains difficult knowing that many areas of the city are flooded. The number of exact victims is still unknown, but many Djiboutians have had to abandon their homes. Traffic was interrupted in the early hours of the morning between Berbella and the capital, which resumed around 10.20 a.m., despite a large traffic jam in, at the entrance to the bridge. This sort of severe weather that caused significant material damage also human CDP Air Force that carried out a rescue operation by helicopter. Uh, the passengers of two typical and vehicle pickup were surprised by the overflow of the wide even but immediately alerted the army proceeded to rescue the victims. Uh, this rescue operation was successively completed without any damage. The impending rains in the capital have changed the situation in the capital where the population is grim for the most part. Many neighborhoods families have their feet in the water, some even moved elsewhere. The waters have submerged the main roads and traffic is very difficult for the motorists in the waters of the rain have submerged the place Mahmoud Harbi, uh, which is very uh, animated but now it's empty. The shops are closed, the shops were uh, closed, but even worse, the bank windows were uh, closed to the public for no apparent reason until midday, while the public transport car resumed very timidly. The schools are also closed, but interrupted public administration remained almost deserted and offering no minimum service to the public, and the situation is also worse inside the neighborhood, so all the streets are invaded by the water in that, that overflowed into the houses in several neighborhoods.
In the interior region now, the region of Arta has not been spared by its torrential rains. The city and its surrounding localities have been watered. Arta Prefecture reports that Bekeh 51 Road has been cut by rain in the water dam made by Turkey was damaged by its floods. A strong and refreshing rain showered also the Ali Sabih region last night around 11 p.m. until 2 a.m. The rain did not cause any damage except for the flood of the wadis located in the city center which disturbed the traffic and pedestrian crossing at this level. The water retention dams in the Grand Barra area have filled up and in some places you can see in depth of 3 meters to 40 meters. The Obok region was also watered by heavy winds in the neighborhoods at the edge of the sea are flooded by rainy waters. Boats on the sea side have been uh, pushed to the shores so without great danger for the population living along the coast. On the news out of our borders in DRC, the, Gong the Congolese uh, government announced Monday the start of an Ebola vaccination campaign in Ecuador province in the northwest of the country. This campaign targets some 600 people who have had direct or indirect contact with the disease. Uh, Kinshasa announces that the partners have promised 300,000 doses of this operation who, whose duration has not been determined. The government said it's already received 5,400 doses of Ebola vaccine and its latest assessment on Friday, Congolese uh, authorities said they recorded 43 cases while the World Health Organization reported the same day 45 cases including 25 deaths. The WHO considers that at this stage the epidemic does not constitute a global emergency even if there is a high risk of spread in neighboring countries. In Syria now, first evacuation of ISIS jihadists south of Damascus. Six buses have entered Abakan's turn southern Damascus, still held by the Islamic State group to evacuate the fighters and, and their families. An Islamic State group jihadists forced into an ultimate pocket in southern Damascus by Syrian regime post began evacuating on Sunday to the in desert, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. The Syrian state media has denied any evacuation of another district, that of Hajar al-Aswad, but they have not specifically mentioned the situation near Mok in the moon. The situation comes less than 24 hours after a ceasefire came into the effect on Saturday at noon in the region controlled by the ISIS. On April 19, Bashar al-Assad's regime launched a major offensive uh, against the last A-side Kapakot is south of Damascus to retake the neighborhoods of Netadabun, Hajar al-Aswet, Qatam in the Palestinian refugee camp, Yermuk. And this is it for this for our latest news. Thank you for joining us on RTD. Enjoy the rest of our programs.